Wow, I can do all things through him. Be set free at three. What a wonderful time we're going to have today. What a wonderful message we're going to have today. We've been joined all the way from Germany by my anointed wife, Angela, and she's going to preach that wonderful gospel of Jesus Christ, that gospel that set the world free, that gospel that brought His goodness, His mercy, His grace, His peace, that gospel that removed all judgment, that gospel of love. She's going to preach for us today. And it's going to be wonderful, uh, her doing that. And we're just waiting for that, that connection. We're waiting for that connection uh, that, uh, that she'll be added to this uh, screen. And it'll be wonderful having her with us. Huh? And it's good being with you guys today. Tomorrow, a great day. Tomorrow we're going to answer questions again. And somebody posed me some questions. This guy fell off a ladder. A friend of mine in Dubai fell off a ladder. And he says to me, I thought by being born again, we have supernatural protection. I thought by being born again, we are his children. And because of his children, we have, uh, there are no more curses. Well, you'll hear my answer tomorrow uh, of this question that was posed to us. And so... Uh, I'm just waiting for Angela to connect up with us. We're adding her right now. And uh, we'll have a wonderful time. She'll bring a wonderful message. So tomorrow, if you want to uh, get hold of me on, on WhatsApp and, and bring certain questions, ask certain questions, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be answering them tomorrow. If I can. If I can't, I'll say I can't. But tomorrow is questions and uh, answers again. Questions and answers again. That's what we'll do tomorrow. And so uh, we look forward to having this all happen for us today. We're just waiting for Angela to join us, connect up with us. Uh, the message of, of healing. And so uh, we've got some exciting things coming up for you as well. Uh, we're starting the Supernatural Worldwide Supernatural School of, uh, of Healing Signs and Wonders, Supernatural School of His Grace, the Evangelistic School. Starts on the 26th Sunday at 5 p.m. The not the Sunday, the following Sunday. And that's going to be great. Because the Lord takes you there. He fills you there. He directs your footsteps from there. And great things start to happen out of that. And, off, and this is going to be a great, great thing. A great, great. Let Him move you into that position. And then next week, some interesting things happening for us. Interesting things happening with us the uh, the following week and that's going to be great 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 uh, and when we, then I'm going to invite you also to our zoom oh yes and then also on Sunday the 26th not the Sunday next Sunday we're doing a be set free at three healing revival on Facebook live a healing revival on Facebook live and I'm believing for God to do miracles Massive miracles in all of this. So, we're going to get ready for that. Uh, we're going to get ready for that. And so, we just, we just uh, believe in the Lord for great, great things. And for you also to play a role, you who watch this program ever so often, uh, invite your friends to the, the revival next weekend. Next week, it'll be great. Uh, and then uh, this week, uh, Angela should be with us, joining us. I, I don't seem to be getting the connection with her, connecting up from Germany. Uh, I don't know if they, they, they had a bit of an electrical problem there at one time, I believe, even in Germany. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to her joining us in that. So let's open in prayer. So Father, we thank you for your good things. We thank you for your... Uh, we thank you for your uh, your ways. We thank you for your release and the freedom that you've be set for us through the cross of Calvary. Uh, and so we praise the Lord for that in Jesus' name. My wife says here that uh, I haven't received your invitation, honey. I've sent it twice. 
let me see if I can send it again. Uh, yeah, it's not allowing me to do it this time. Uh, I see your name here, and I did add, and I did click add. Uh, maybe if you go out, honey, just go out uh, and go out of Facebook and come back in again, and we'll see what we can do uh, for you on that. Uh, I have, I have invited you. I have tried to connect with you. I did, in actual fact, add you, and it did go through the procedures. Uh, but I've seen nothing yet. So, tomorrow I'm doing questions and answers again. Uh, and the first question I'm going to start with is a friend of mine, as I said earlier, who fell off a ladder in Dubai, ended up breaking his wrist and having uh, stitches in his wrist. And then uh, he, he asked me the question, he said, if we are children of God, how come the thief still has access to us? I mean, what a question. How come the thief still have, has access to us? And if we are children of grace, children of his, how come there's still curses? I'm sure there's still curses because this has happened to me on a ladder. Well, the answers I surely will give you tomorrow. Let's see if I can invite Angela back here. I don't know why this is not going through. I see her name here, but I see I just can't request. Let's switch it off. Uh, let's switch it on again. Request to be in your broadcast. Allow viewers to send your request to join your broadcast. You can add them at any point. Uh, yeah, maybe if you can send me a request, I need to be in the broadcast. Let me try that way around. Uh, Carmen Terana, all the way from uh, all the way from Sicily, uh, in uh, South Italy. She's joined us well, and of course we've got Kachi with us. So only if you if you're seeing me now, okay, yeah, we're gonna go again. I'll try again. There we go. Add, add, right. There we go. See if we're adding you now. It's adding, adding, adding. Let's see what happens. So great things, you know, is healing is alive today as ever it was before. We've had some incredible miracles. We've had miracles. Sorry, I'm not getting the invitation button. Okay, let's try again. Uh, She's bat we're battling just to get hold of Angela. Let's just pray together and believe the Lord will do this for us. Father, thank you. Let me send it again. There we go. Add again. I need you don't have to look for the the invitation. I'm sending an invitation right now again. It's going adding, adding, adding. People are adding, adding, adding as well. Do you hear you? Hello, Robbie Cancross. Uh, Carmen says from Sicily, we were in Sicily not so long ago, we went to Castle Termini and Palermo and we were in, uh, I forget her place's name, uh, in her place, uh, let's have a look what's going on here now, approve, approve, right, approve, add, right, we've, I've approved Angela, I've added Angela, Angela's not appearing, incredible. So don't forget next, uh, not this Sunday, the following Sunday, the School of Grace, Healing and Evangelism. The Lord will take you, pour into you, that which is poured into you, He'll, he'll, he'll pour out of you. And uh, He will then also, Eben, good to see you again, Chantal Buffet, good to see you again as well. He'll do something wonderful. My good friend Martin Fox is with us as well. And uh, now Angela, where is Angela? Oh, money. And so we're just having a bit of a trouble in linking up with Germany at this time. Tomorrow, great questions. Uh, think about the questions that you'd like to ask, and we will, we will certainly get that going tomorrow. And uh, these questions, uh, any questions you'd like to ask, we can ask, we can uh, answer tomorrow. If I can, that is. Some questions I don't know. Some questions I do know. And... Uh, a big one is about curses. A big one is about if God is for us, who can be against us? How come bad things happen to us? That's a big question. A friend of mine fell off the ladder. Uh, another friend of mine, the other, well, not friend of mine, but an associate of mine once, quite, wi quite a while ago, uh, he told me the Lord threw him off a ladder that broke his back, that he can speak to him. I don't believe that for one minute. I'll cover that tomorrow as well. And so we're not having any luck at the moment. So, Father, we just thank you right now for the connection with Angela. We're all waiting patiently. 
for her to deliver. Uh, and also we have another question here which we'll answer tomorrow from from my friend Martin. He says, I have the same question. Epilepsy is uh, epilepsy is for some a devil or a curse and others a sickness. Yeah, we'll answer that as well for you tomorrow. Uh, Carmen, sorry I'm not getting the, an invitation. I replied from Lika. Uh, okay. I'm sending the invitation. I'm not, not sure why it's not getting to you. Uh, there we go, I'm adding her again, add her again, add her again, there we go, it's adding, uh, let's see what's happening. There we go, something's happening, something's happening, it's adding, adding, adding. It's adding, adding, adding. No, not luck. Uh. So wherever you're watching right now, just start to receive. His presence. You might be waiting. You might be expecting something special. Uh, the Lord is able to do it for you. Adding again. So just start receiving that which the Lord wants to do in your life. And that's what you're expecting a healing for. Uh, we will. I will certainly pray for everybody tonight as well. Or this afternoon for healing. I can't do anything. I'm connected. I'm watching, but no invitation. Yo, honey, I'm sending you invitations all the time, every ever so often. Uh, yeah, I'm sending it to you again now. Yeah, it goes. Add. It's adding from from my side to yours. Uh, it's adding you in. Adding you in. I'm going to try something different now as well in a moment or two. It's adding, adding, adding. Uh, normally it goes from adding to connecting. But it's adding. It doesn't seem to be flipping over into the connection. Uh, no, not that one, was it? So I'm going to go in here. So I'm going to do an invitation. Invite friends. Uh, Lika Tarana is invited. It's already invited. Anyhow, I'm going to carry on and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to carry on now and I'm just going to break away every now and again and invite again. People have been waiting for a little while. Uh, the Bible says this in, in Psalms 34 verse 19. It says, many evils confront the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. He can deliver you. He can deliver you from whatever you are in. He is the deliverer. He has delivered you. It's called the resurrection power. His resurrection power, the same spirit that rose Christ Jesus from the dead, is able to resurrect you, able to lift you, able to give you life. Able. He's able. He is able to do that. And so whatever illness that you're sitting with, whatever sickness you're sitting with, He can lift you out. He can lift you from that. He can take it away. Hmm? And so Psalms 116 verse 10 says, I believed and therefore I've spoken uh, for when I, I am great, when I am greatly afflicted. So let's speak right now. Let's speak to the sickness. Let's speak to that which has beset you. Speak to it right now and speak life. Speak his life into your situation. Prophesy to yourself right now. Prophesy and say, here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Heal me. Here I am, Lord. Heal me. I receive. It's received. Healing is received. The Bible says, and I said this yesterday, He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities. And, and He took chastisement upon Himself. He took a chastisement upon Himself. He took a chastisement upon himself uh, 
He took a chastisement upon himself that brought you peace, that brought you well-being. Because by his stripes you have been made whole. Let us right now, let us right now, let us right now declare that. Let's declare it by our mouths. Let our faith speak out of our mouths. With the faith that's in our heart, let it speak out of our mouth now. Because what, the, what, what your mouth speaks, which is in your heart, changes your atmosphere, changes your circumstance. And let's declare right now, by His stripes I am healed. Come on, Martin. By His stripes. By His stripes. By His stripes, I am healed. By His stripes, I am healed. Come on. By His stripes, believe it. And start to receive it right now. I'm flowing right now with the Holy Spirit and power. I'm flowing right now with His healing. I'm flowing right now. It's flowing out of me. From the innermost, from the place I'm resurrected to. It's flowing out of me right now. And just start, start receiving in that flow. Just start to receive in that flow right now. It's flowing out of me. By His stripes, you have been healed. By his stripes, you have been healed. And to my beautiful wife, as I'm preaching right now, I'm, I'm hitting the adding button or the, or the add button. And it's saying adding on my screen here. Uh, and I just believe, I'm just believing that you will get the connection on that side as well in order to join us. If not, then we'll do your teaching tomorrow. But uh, I don't know what's going on. You know, digi digital is not normally <laughs> what it's made out to be. Hmm? Yeah, so this is the day that Sakamotsu says, this is the day that the Lord has made, so let us be glad and enjoy in it. The, the by, I want to just highlight something I highlighted yesterday as well. It says, by His stripes we are healed. Are, past tense. Are, have been. Are, are. It's done already. It's done already. Current, present, present, continuous. Are healed. Yeah. Then He says in Matthew 8, 17, uh, it says, and he bore away our sins and our weaknesses, our infirmities. He himself took it. And that's fulfilled by, the, by what spoken by the prophet Isaiah. He himself took away our weaknesses and infirmities and bore. Bore, also past tense there. Bore, taken away. It's taken away, Martin. Epilepsy has been removed in Jesus' mighty name. And uh, 1 Peter says this. It says, He personally bore our sins. We know that on the tree. Thank you, Lord, uh, that we might, uh, that we might have be released from that. By His wounds, you have been, have been, past tense, taken away already, have been. It, it, it's happened. It has happened already. So, and so we have this wonderful, wonderful testimony of that which He has done. Huh? And the Bible says, by now in Christ Jesus, Ephesians 2.13, but now in Christ Jesus, you once were far away through the blood of Jesus. He has brought you near. Huh? He has brought you into his presence. He has brought you through the cross. He has impelled you. And the verse 14 says, for he is our peace. Where there's sickness, there's no peace. He is our peace. He is our healing. He has made us both uh, one with himself. And he's broken down. He's removed every hostile dividing wall. There's no sickness that can, can come between you and he. He's removed that. He's taken it away. He, 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 he has, he's lifted it away. And the Bible says that when we come to the cross of Calvary in 1 Corinthians 15, 44, it says it, your body is sown a natural physical body at the cross. 
and it's raised. It's resurrected a supernatural spiritual body. There's a change in body. You can come to the cross with a sick body, but, but he then takes that sick body upon himself. He's crucified with that sick body. And then he's resurrected. He resurrects you through the cross into his natural, supernatural. No longer natural, but now supernatural. This is a miracle. Healing is a miracle. Everything about Christianity is miraculous. Everything about Christianity is based on a simple thing. It's called faith. But without faith, it's impossible to please Him. For He is the reward of those that diligently seek Him. How do you diligently seek Him? Through faith. What is faith? It's believing. How much must you believe? As much as a mustard seed. How much is that? Well, you can't even see it. It's so small. So as I speak to you, I'm speaking life. As I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking healing. As I'm speaking to you, I'm flowing in this river of life into your situation. It, it, it immerses you. He fills everywhere himself, everything, everywhere himself with himself. It's, be, it's immersing into you. It's flowing into you. It's bringing life into you. It's bringing healing into your situation. Huh? That's what he does. That's what he does. He does this for you. Hmm? He does this for you. And it's a wonderful thing that he is doing. And the, and, the, and the Bible says, And when this perishable, the body that is sick is a perishable body. The body at the foot of the cross is a perishable body. Puts on an imperishable body. That which cannot take sickness. That which cannot take death. Um, and this, that which was capable of dying. Oh, listen to this. That which was capable of dying. This is 1 Corinthians 15, 54. That which was capable of dying puts on the freedom from death. Then shall the scripture be fulfilled which says death is swallowed up. Hmm? Death is swallowed up and in and unto victory. I speak victory over you today. I speak life over you today. I speak healing over you today. I speak His presence over your situation today. Now I say epilepsy. It's gone in Jesus' name. It's left at the foot of the cross. Huh? It's, it's not there anymore. It's not there anymore. And then 1 Corinthians 15 verse 55 says, O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? Where is the victory? Where is the sting? Ephesians 2.4 But God so reaches He in His mercy because of and order to satisfy the great and wonderful intense love which He has loved us. Okay? Even when we were dead, by our shortcomings, verse 5. Even when we were dead by our shortcomings and trespasses, He made us alive together in fellowship and in union with Christ Himself. He gave us the very life of Christ. Was Christ's life ill? No, it wasn't. It was life. That's the life that He's given you. He was a supply of life. He is a supply of life. You are the supply of life. And we speak life into that. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I just pray right now for all pain in these viewers and whoever views this program to go right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Someone had a pain at the back of their neck, at the back of the neck here, it's gone. Shoulder pain is gone. Uh, someone had, when they walked behind their knees was pain. That pain has been removed right now as well. Kidney pain is going. Stomach pain is going right now all pain uh, someone's had a somebody here has had a somebody here has had a migraine suffered from migraine that migraine leaves you now in jesus mighty name it leaves you now You will not have a migraine again. You will not have a migraine again. 
to my wife as well. I see an approve uh, button. Yeah, I'm hitting this approve button. I'm hitting adding all the time. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. And so uh, it says that, that he's bring, brought us together in fellowship and in union with Christ. He gave us a very life of Christ himself. You have the life of Christ. You have that life through the cross. The same new life which he quickened him. Uh, it's for by grace. Uh, listen, brother and sister, I want to let you know it, healing is by grace. It's not what you've done or what you haven't do. Please don't condemn yourself. Don't say you're a worse person. Don't say I shouldn't have done this or I should have done that. Don't say that at all. It's by grace. What is grace? Grace is receiving good things you don't deserve. What is mercy? Not receiving that which you do deserve. Not receiving that which you do deserve. Then we're, in a, we're in a dispensation. We're in a new and living way now of grace. Please don't beat yourself up. And think that... Uh, uh, please don't beat yourself up. And think that... Uh, it's, it can't happen for you. Because of what you've done or what you haven't done. You shouldn't have spoken to Uncle Bobby that way. Or Auntie Lucy. You shouldn't have uh, pushed out of the house that way. Whatever the case is. Listen. Uh, it's got nothing to do with what you do. And what, have, what you've done or what you haven't done. It's got everything to do with that which He has uh, done. Amen. And so that healing we received. Please don't disqualify yourself. Get the devil out of the way as well. He's been taken care of. It's not his, it's not, this is not part of that. Take it out of the way as well. Take it out of the way. Take yourself out of the way as well. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Oh, Lord hasn't forgiven me. Oh, I have, should have forgiven. Take it out of the way as well. Nothing to do with that. And so we're just left with with a sickness. And we deal with that through the cross. He's dealt with it. By his stripes you are healed. And the healer is the Holy Spirit that flows over you right now. That flows over you right now. Just start to receive as I'm speaking to you. There's something special about receiving. You know, often, often you give somebody something and they can't receive it immediately. They say they want to give something back. But today it's your day to receive. To receive a healing. To receive a healing. The Bible says here in Ephesians 2.13... But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away, you were once far away, through the blood of Christ, has brought you near. Has brought you near. And so let me pray for all of you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever sickness you have, and just, just list your sicknesses right now on this, okay, uh, are now. Uh, Eleanor, your husband, ask your husband to test his knee. The, the pain is gone. I'm telling you now, Eleanor, the pain is gone. I saw that knee. Uh, I will see that. That's right. Uh, and um, Olivia as well. Olivia, I set you free. All those migraines are gone now. There's peace in your head, peace in your forehead. Just to get them up here. Peace in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, peace. No more. No more. Uh, and yeah, Boyce says this, uh, burning feet, stubborn diabetes. Uh, I have the life of Christ. I believe it's gone. Boyce, we receive a testimony from you, brother. I speak complete life. I flow with light that shines into darkness. It goes and you are healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Boyce. Uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Olivia says, I receive that. Uh, yes, no more migraines. But, uh, Moringa, uh, uh, Boyce is also watching. Uh, now, another thing we're going to do for you as well. Next week, from Monday, we're going to do some very exciting things. Uh, 
We're going to set, we're going to, we're going to give you every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to do a healthy body on Monday. We're going to do a healthy finances on Tuesday. We're going to do a healthy lifestyle on Wednesday. And we're going to do a healthy spirit on, on Thursday. And then what we're going to do, we're going to invite you guys from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to what we call a Zoom symposium. And a, a Be Set Free symposium. And that you have health, have whole health. Health in your body, health in your finances, health in your lifestyle, and health in your spirit. Eh? So you'll be be set sick free, you'll be set debt free, you'll be be set stress free, and you'll be set guilt free. Eh? That's what we're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week. So tune in then as well. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, Angela will be with us. And we will then answer, uh, tomorrow we'll do, uh, tomorrow Angela will be with us and we will then do more healing tomorrow. Uh, and then again on, uh, on Friday I'll do answers questions, I'll answer questions, um, Martin your questions, any other questions that you want to send. But at the moment I'm praying now for the sick. I'm praying now for the sick. Uh, boy says it's done. Eleanor says, I mean, the pain is gone. You see, the pain is gone, Eleanor. No more pain. So, Father, we just thank you right now. I, I want, look, if, uh, boys, if you're suffering from diabetes, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes, I, I want you to attend that healthy, healthy body next Monday as well, uh, boys. Uh, I've got some interesting stuff to tell you uh, that you could practically put into place as well uh, for a healthy body. Um, okay, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, Pucky Anderson, blessings, Glenn. Well, what's Army? Godson, my brother. Blessings came to one of our, our schools. Uh, yeah, my wife says, well, you have to take, oh, it's already too late. No invitation button, in spite of you trying. Yeah, it's incredible. I don't know what's going on. Right, hi, brother Robbie. Everybody, another day. Okay, right. Any more, any more prayer you'd like? Uh, Angel will be here on Friday. Uh, tomorrow I'll do the <laughs> sorry. So I'm sorry about all this confusion, right? Tomorrow I'll do the questions. Angel will be here on Friday. She'll do more healing on Friday. But tomorrow I do the questions. Amen. So uh, the, there's somebody suffering from uh, from a stomach problems right now. I just see it. Suffering. Somebody suffering. From stomach problems. And I speak into that situation right now. I speak healing into that situation right now. For all of you that are that are watching that uh, are looking for, for healing, I want you to look at me. Look at me right now. I set you free. I bring you his goodness, his mercy, his grace, his peace. I bring life to your body right now. I bring healing to your body right now. All the infirmity, all the iniquity, all the pain, all the sickness, all the discomfort, whatever the disease goes now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are free, you are free, you are free. Not by that which you can do, but everything that He has done for you. You are free through the cross of Calvary. Nico, there's freedom through the cross of Calvary. Kachi says, yes, stomach. Kachi, look at me right now. You've been set free from that stomach problem. Never to return again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Godson, are you still watching? I want to prophesy over you, Godson. I want to prophesy over you, Godson. Let me know if you're still watching. And then I'll prophesy over you. I've got a prophet, prophetic word for you, Godson. I'll say it here even if you're not here. So, Godson, I see you preaching the gospel. I see the God, the Lord giving you wings, like angel wings. Wings to lift you up. Wings to lift you out of where you are right now. Wings to take you around South Africa. To take you around the world. To preach 
His gospel. Not bound by what other people are saying, not bound by what other people are preaching, but to preach the grace gospel of Christ. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ will be on your lips. Uh, you'll see the dead raised. You'll see the sick cured. So go and uh, preach that gospel. Then you, I see you say you're still watching. This is good because now I'm prophesying and I've prophesied over you. And so you can always play this back on, on Facebook again. And so I see you preaching the gospel, brother. Stretch your, your, your wings. Let God, uh, through the Holy Spirit, bring lift under them. And uh, he will take you around locally, nationally, and internationally, preaching the good news of Jesus Christ. Don't get caught up in a... Uh, Eben, I want to prophesy over you as well. Don't get caught up in... Local church politics, brother. Don't get caught up. Don't be ensnared by something local. You are national, international. Yeah? So go for that. Eben, kida roma kdiskoro malama shenteria. Listoro palama on teria rabo shende. Eben, I just see the Lord starting to move in a mighty way. You've said, Here I am, Lord. Use me. You, you, you've had the heart for Him to take you. You've had the heart for Him to use you. You've had the heart. For, to, to, to be of service in his kingdom. But something's always come up. Then even self-doubt. I think the, the biggest problem I'm picking up is self-doubt. There, there's a self-doubt that has crept upon you. And you're always kind of selling yourself short. You always kind of say, oh, it can't use me. But you want to be used. But at the same time, you're saying, he can't use me. You want to go. You want to pray for the sick. But at the same time, you say, I can't do it. So there's almost this, this spiritual schizophrenia, which the Lord is lifting up of you right now. And he's saying, you are my daughter. You are my son. You are, and I took sonies without, uh, without um, gender. You are my son. I have given you life. I have given you peace. I have given you grace. I have given my life in you that, that will flow out of you in Jesus' my name. And the Lord's going to start ordering your footsteps. He's going to start filling you with His truth. He's going to start bringing people around you with His, with his wisdom. And that you are able to fulfill that calling which you have got. And the difference between calling and chosen is you say, Here I am, Lord, use me. Here I am, Lord, use me. In other words, it's your attitude to being called that you get chosen. And it's just an attitude. It's nothing you got to do. Just an attitude. Say, wow, Lord, here I am, use me. And Olivia, that's here. My wife, that's here. Kachi, that's watching. Martin, that's here. Uh, even uh, my friend uh, Godson, that's here. Elno Tobin. That's watching. Uh, all have said this thing. Here I am, Lord, use me. And the Lord will take them and use them in a mighty, mighty way. And so, my friends, get yourselves into a position. Get yourselves into a position right now uh, that the Lord will use you. Get yourself into a position where you can be filled with life, where you can be filled with the truth, where you can be filled with freedom. Please, don't get filled with doctrinal stuff, doctrinal, denominational doctrinal stuff. It will keep you powerless in the pew. The Lord's directive is for you to go and flow, not to sit and sip. Of course it's a time we sit and sip. Of course it's a time we sit and, and we are trained up. For the ministry that he has put on us. Of course there is. There's nothing wrong with that. But <laughs> don't overstay your welcome. <laughs> and so uh, we do this wonderful worldwide school of grace, healing and evangelism. And Godson, I want you to come again to the Zoom school. Uh, I want you to attend as well. Because I believe the Lord wants to freshen something up. Stir something up within you again. And uh, this will be great. It starts on the 26th of Sunday, 26th. Uh, if you would like to attend the school, Eben, if you'd like to attend the school, Boyce, if you'd like to attend the school, uh, Mon Wabzi, Wabzi Godson, then just put put in, in comments school and I'll give you, get the information to you. Uh, I'll just put school and your, your email address and I'll get the registration if, email to you. It's going to be a great time. The Lord has used many people. That have come through that school in a mighty, mighty way. And at the moment as well, uh, he's getting people ready to take on the next step. To take in the next generation to 
come forward. Be there. Eh? Say, Lord, the time is right for us to go up and take back what's rightfully ours. For we are well able to overcome. Of course you're well able to overcome. So, Eben, bless you. Let me Just let me know what if that prophecy was, was on, on the nail. I'd like to know that. I, I've never met you before. I've just seen your name. Uh, school. There we go. Delane Harris. That's right, Delane. I'll get the information to you. It'll be good. Uh, sorry, the 26th. Uh, my, my, yeah, uh, Eben, as I said, I've never met you before. Uh, on my picture, I don't even know if you're male or female, it's not important. Uh, but uh, I can't see, it's a little too small. Uh, but let me just know about your prophecy. Uh, the Lord's going to use you in a mighty way, uh, even with your, yeah, and He's going to take out this, this, uh, the feeling of not being good enough. Remove that shortly. Amen. Right. Well, I've been with you for 40 minutes, almost 40 minutes. And what a wonderful time we've had. What an unexpected time we've had today. My wife was going to preach healing to us, and she'll do that on Friday now. She's a great, great anointed preacher, and she's a great teacher. She used to teach in Germany at the at, even at the um, at the gymnasiums there, which is a higher kind of school. And then also she she has also uh, uh, planted a few churches in Germany, and many people have been saved through her ministry, her one-on-one -on -one ministry, which is which is a real blessing. So uh, she will be with us on on Friday. I will be with you tomorrow answering questions. Tomorrow, next week, we have a wonderful time. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday we're going to do healthy body. Tuesday, healthy finance. Wednesday, healthy lifestyle. Thursday, healthy spirit. And then we're going to every day invite you to come along uh, at a date to be announced to come along to our Zoom Symposium, the Be Set Free Zoom Symposium. This Sunday, coming. Sunday coming. I don't know what the date is. I think it might be the 12th. Am I right? The 12th. We're going to do a Be Set Free Healing Revival. Or Be Set Free at 3 Healing Revival. Here on Be Set Free 3, three on Sunday. And I'm going to pray for revival. I'm going to pray for healing as well in that area. Eben says, Amen. In other words, Eben, the words that were given to you were accurate, right? I don't want you to, to, to there shouldn't be a revelation to you. Uh, there should be a confirmation to you, <laughs> in which I believe they are. Amen. Uh, Boyce asked for a, a prophetic word as well. Boyce, I tell you what, I, I'm not going to give you a prophetic word now. Uh, let that come. Let that develop let that come uh, I just I just pro prophesy I'm led at the time of course everybody wants a word everybody would love to have a word and as I'll just prophesy as the Lord leads me uh, um, as things happen uh, Eleanor says what an anointed session thank you Eleanor I really felt a, a wonderful flow there as well and uh, Marion Marion Furness says, thank you, Robbie. Uh, Delaine Harris has given her her, her uh, email address for the school. So, uh, Godson, I'd like you to come to that school again for a refresher. I think the Lord wants to share new things. You know, it doesn't matter how many times you come, you always pick up something new, relevant for you at that time. And you've matured a lot since we did the first school, the one-on-one -on -one school with you there in Musenberg. And now I... I I want you to, uh, Olivia also came to the school for the second time and she picked up a tremendous amount in the, in, in, in the school. Just, just, because you, the, just because you think you've been once doesn't mean to say that you can't come again. It's just a wonderful, you see the spirit is life. When you, when you preach with the spirit of God, uh, you find that because there's life, you pick up what you need at that time. And then you can come the next day and you'll pick up something new, uh, another revelation. And so it is with life. That's why you can read the Bible. The Bible is never out of date. You can read it whenever you want to. Uh, you always pick up something fresh in it. So those who want to attend the school, just do send me your email address. And uh, that will be great. Marion, I'd love to see you there as well, Marion. I mean, you've got a great, great, great... Uh, you've got a great calling on your life, Marion. A great calling on your life. I want to tell you that. I see a, you've got a calling of love on your life. 
you're a great lover. I'm not talking about relation. I'm not. Hey, I'm not talking about fleshy relations type stuff. I'm talking about carrying his love. You, 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 you can have a wonderful love ministry, uh, Marion. I can. I see that. I just. I just sense that as well. And and you also have a heart to help people. You have a heart to serve people. I'm prophesying of you, in the Marion. You have a heart to serve people. A heart to 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 help people. That's your heart. And uh, so a little confusion came, not confusion, but a little bit of a, a side rabbit trail came in at one time. Uh, and you found yourself in, in, in not a healthy body. But it doesn't matter. Uh, just step forward right now. And you'll probably find once you start flowing with the Holy Spirit, once you start ministering, that will kind of find its own way. It will kind of take, take its own way out. Uh, uh, you know, I was preaching in Australia once and... and uh, I, I, it, was, it was a healing revival. And many people came up for, for healing. And it was healing like, oh, my thumb is sore. Healing like, oh, my wrist is sore. Healing like, oh, my knee is sore. Nothing serious, but just these little niggles. And I said, Lord, what on earth is this? And they said, well, you know, sometimes when people sit and sip only, uh, they kind of, in inverted commas, they kind of get rusty. Uh, but the fact is, start once you start to go and flow, once you start to teach the word, once you start to flow with the word, you find that you yourself also grow tremendously. Uh, you know, you'd never believe that uh, if you suffer from high blood pressure, go and do a lot of exercise and you, it, it'll go away. Uh, it, it's almost contrary, you know, well, I, I should keep my heart rate low, I should keep my heart rate down. But in actual fact, when you start exercising, then things start to take care of themselves. And that, I believe, also in the ministry as well. But when sometimes you've got niggling uh, ailments uh, that are just there, go and preach the gospel. If you've got questions or doubts, go and preach the gospel. Uh, things will certainly take care of themselves. And I think this is for you as well, Marion. Not that your condition is, uh, is, I'm not trivializing it at all. I'm just, what I'm really trying to say is this, that once you start preaching that gospel and going out in his fullness, going out in his liberty, going out in his love, which is already in you, you will find great, 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 great things starting to happen, even in yourself. Uh, the, you know, teaching and, and preaching and sharing the word is, is one of the greatest two-edged cutting swords. Uh, not only does the person that you are ministering to receive, but you receive as well. Uh, and, and this is the, the, real, the, real, the real power comes in there. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, and there we go. Uh, my brother uh, Trevor is also watching Trevor November. I remember once prophesying over him, my brother, that you'd be good in business. Be a wealthy businessman, and you are today as well. Now you you've got uh, you in property, and it's going well for you, I believe. Uh, I often see your your posts on on Facebook. So God bless you. Thanks for watching. But back to Marion. Marion says this spot on. Thank you. And uh, yeah, Marion, come on. Let's now exercise. Get yourself into a position where you can be taught uh, life, uh, where you can be taught to flow with the Holy Spirit and power, and the Lord will use you. In a mighty way. So that's a supernatural school, a worldwide school of grace, healing, and evangelism, which happens, uh, which is happening on the 26th of the 7th uh, at 5 p.m. for five Sundays, one hour each. And that is, that will be great for you to come to that as well. God bless you, Trevor. Good to see you again. And also, we've got Prophet uh, Andre Lowe, Andre Q. Lowe, uh, who is a great prophet in, in, in the city, not only in the city, but nationally and internationally. And he's, he's been around and certainly walked the walk and certainly uh, done, done uh, not paid the price. Christ paid the price, but he's certainly been there through thick or thin. And we salute him today who's, who's, who has joined us at the, clo at the clothing, at the, not clothing, at the closing of the session. God bless you, brother. And uh, we, we, uh, it's an honor to have you here with us. Uh, Andre, Andre Lowe, Prophet Andre Lowe, uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So from me to you, his goodness, his mercy, his grace, his peace, 
His goodness, His love, His kingdom, His power, His glory is yours. You are free. You are free. You are free. Not by that which you can do, but everything that He has already done for you. So tomorrow, be set free at 3. I'll be answering questions. Any questions you may have, send me the questions. I will be prophesying to one or two people. I will, of course, bring one or two words as well. Uh, words of healing as well, because we're in this little healing series. Uh, and then, of course, uh, on, on Friday, my wife, Angela, from Germany, will be preaching to you on healing. And then uh, Sunday, we're doing the, the uh, Be Set be set free at three healing revival on Sunday and you you can take opportunity now to invite your friends to come along as well and share it with them those in need and I'm giving you some notice on this that this can happen and then of course uh, from the following week we'll be doing our, uh, our healthy body healthy finance healthy lifestyle and healthy spirit Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so from me to you life and peace life and peace and we'll see you We'll see you.